Hallo. Hallo, Jen Wendestoel hier with the voice vlog with Wendestoel, episode 13. Uh, so, uh, look, it's been very hard to keep up the last few days. I mean, life is just getting busy, you know, and uh, Trevor has been very sick, uh, which is why this is coming to you so late. Um, but he's better now, aren't you, Trevor? Just show him to you. Yeah, here he is. He's better now, so say hello, Trevor. Hello, hello, yes, so he's a lot better now, hey, eh? mm -hmm. thank you Trevor. Um, Trevor is course, of course my mentor um, because he uh, is very good with voices, uh, he helps me when I'm teaching sometimes in my home because uh, his ears always go back when the bad singing happens and if it's really bad he starts howling and so, uh, isn't that right Trevor, so he's uh, He's uh, very helpful and it's great that he's back on track. And also, um, I just can't keep up, you know. When I said that I was going to do the vlog, I thought it was on one night a week, on the Sunday, or maybe Monday and Sunday. Uh, but not Monday and, and Sunday and Tuesday. I mean, that is really bad. That is three nights, you know. Who's got time to sit home and watch television for three nights, you know? Unless, of course, you've got children or you're an invalid or something. But, you know, otherwise, I've got things to do. And also, I want to watch other things on the television. You know, I like to watch my other stories, like the Downtown Abbey and, and Criminal Minds, you know, things like that. I'm just so be far behind in all of those things because of the voice. So it's getting pretty heavy. But anyway... My influence is exciting, my influence is starting to hit the voice. Uh, I notice that many of the singers are now following my vlog, which is lovely. I'd really like to help you guys. So, And also, uh, the voice they actually wrote to me, uh, see that there, that was really nice, because I said that I was really excited tonight, the voice is on. I get too excited to watch and judge and help through the voice vlog. And then the Voice Australia, they said, at Jan van der Stoel, that's my name, um, on the Twitter, who is your favourite coach? Just like Casual sort of just asking me a question because they know that I am, um, you know, I, I have an authority now really with them. So they're now asking me questions, you know. And so I, I replied, I said that I am the favourite coach uh, because I do think that my team is the strongest. Um, so that was nice. They didn't reply back, but that's okay. You know. So um, what else is happening? On, on, on Tuesday um, I noticed that my influence has also gone to the mentors. Uh, I think that Connie really liked my poem um, because she had one of her own. She did that one as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so there she is, uh, Connie with her poem. And uh, although I have to say, it was not the only hairstyle that she had that day. She had a lot of different hairstyles. Uh, she had a flat one and a side one and a kind of uh, mohawky twisted one. So all on the same day, it was very confusing. I couldn't really follow who she was. I kept asking Peter who that woman was and he knew. Um, Rick, Nick Ryan, he, he won his battle. That was on the Tuesday. But um, unfortunately, even though he won his battle, he did lose his dignity because of the sweat marks. Now look at that. See that there? Now Nick, that can happen to anyone. You are a star now, okay? You need to look after things like that. I myself, I've got little sweat pads here in my jacket, you see? They just come out like that and you can just put them in the wash, you see? Just like that. There we go. As well. Uh, so Peter is, makes them for me because I sweat a lot just even when I'm just talking. So um, he's going to make some of those and give them to you. So look forward for that in the mail. Um, Adam won his battle with Nick. Um, Rick said that Adam had more diversity uh, and I think what he meant is that Adam uh, not only sang but he did it with two accents. Have a listen to this. I hope you can hear it because I'm playing it on the computer. That's Nick singing. This is Adam. Listen. Those days are gone. Really Australian. But then, listen. I hear the song. He goes into American. So yeah, then he goes into American. So anyway, I did buy his little CD and I think the producer said, don't do that again because he's not recorded it that way. 
Um, Delta had the final safe on the night, um, which she was really showing off about, uh, like a queen just sitting in her chair, you know, the whole night. I saw her um, kind of sitting in the chair, feeling pretty powerful, you know, about whether to cut off the heads or not, you know, that was the kind of feeling. And eventually she said, the universe will give her a sign uh, when the time is right. That's what she said. But, you know, by when she said universe, what she actually meant was, the producers of the show because look what I discovered can you see that that is an earpiece there see the producers are actually talking to the guys in the ears and making them do things so isn't that I wonder if you guys saw that at home but that is what's going on so that is interesting it explains some of the stupid choices the judges have made um, Luckily this time she made a fantastic choice to save Steve Clisby, which was brilliant. Um, the battle of Steve and Mitch, uh, Mitchell was just, or Stitchell as they are now known, uh, was amazing. And it made you realize how many, you know, pretty crappy singers there were on The Voice. And those two, what amazing performance. I just was crying. It was so beautiful. And you could see that everyone was genuinely involved, you know, which kind of also shows how ungenuine they are at other times. Interesting. But... Uh, I really have to say the only thing that made me angry is that these guys are not world famous already. I mean, they are Australia's Bruce Springsteen and, and Lionel Richie, you know. Uh, Bruce, of course, being Steve. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just fantastic. And lastly, the thing I like to talk about tonight is song choice, okay? Really, there's some really bad song choices going on, and it's not fair for the singers. Um, you know, I think that was the only loser on the show on Tuesday night. Uh, the judges, or, well, as Delta says, the universe's song choices. Uh, Luke and Josh, uh, no, sorry, Kathy and Jess Jessica at first, uh, singing Titanium. Well, firstly, they were, was belting everyone, you know, belting everyone up. And that is all I can remember about the whole song, that one, that one word, Titanium. Can't remember anything else about it. Luke and Josh, I can't remember their song at all, except that someone sang very, very flat. One of them really couldn't sing. Nathan and Sophie, stay, boring. Adam and Nick, don't you worry, child. Well, terrible for both of them. I frankly wouldn't have picked either of them. Uh, the song was that bad. But the worst song of the night was Nick and Ryan singing You Found Me. It was just so bad, boring song. It was not in their vocal ranges, it was very low. And you knew it was a bad song because this, and these are photos of the judges watching that song. Look here at Delta. She is looking very worried, very bored. Ricky, look at him. Not very, uh, very happy of that. And Seal picked it and look at his face. I mean, he was really going, Oh my God, what have I done? So, so guys, song choice is everything, and I hope I really see an improvement in that. In the, um, in the, yeah, see, Trevor agrees with me. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Trevor, I've told him already. So, yes, so I hope I see an improvement in that in the showgrounds. I mean, the, um, in the showgrounds. Now, what is it called? In the, um, yeah. Oh, showdowns, in the showdowns. Yes, that's what we're going through on Sunday. We see you there.